Hello everybody on YouTube, uh, I'm back again with another tutorial. This time uh, it's a remixing tutorial, a tips and trick uh, tutorial on how to use uh, Logic Pro. I'm going to show you uh, some automation stuff and how to fix the panning and the automation. If you're having problems with your MIDI tracks or whatever you're messing around with, like I was having uh, earlier when I was messing around with my remix and I'm trying to do uh, Limp Bizkit to their song called uh, uh, Behind Blue Eyes. So uh, what I'm going to show you is how to fix your automation and how to fix the panning if it uh, keeps wanting to do its own thing and keeps wanting to uh, pan it like right here I'll show you like just this uh, little uh, part of the song that I'm doing okay uh, this little MIDI track so I'm gonna show you that right now it's set to like uh, like we can go down right in here and it's set to like uh, 24 plus 24 that means it's going all the way to the to the left I mean to the right and if it's a I mean if it says negative whatever it's going to the to the right so it's going to the or to the left or whatever let's see oh hold on I'll show you watch okay let's see okay I don't hear nothing now but I'm not even ready here you can kind of hear it's going all the way to the right when it's uh, plus 24 means going to the right, negative means it's going to the left. So you can hear it's kind of hear it's uh, panning to the uh, right a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this little uh, thing right in here and we're going to go, uh, which is the automation, this little box with the yellow whatever that's yellow right here that has yellow in it. You go to that. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this. Well, no, 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 right, no, right there. We're going to click right here. We're going to click in this uh, little uh, long uh, rectangular box right in here. We're going to left click in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to pan. Okay. And what we're going to do is see that it says plus 24. That means going all the way to the right. Uh, 24 uh, times to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, to set it back to zero so it's even so it doesn't sound funny and sound off and sound like a little quiet and you can't hear the note or whatever and uh, so I had this problem and it was stressing me out really really bad so this is why I'm doing the tutorial for you on this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to okay click on it okay what I'm gonna do is bring it all the way up to zero okay you can do it right in here to get it uh, more closer to zero by going right in here. We're going to do back to the zero. And then we're going to bring this one up right there. I'm going to put that to zero. Okay. And right here, right where the song plays starts right here. It starts right here. So make sure that uh, exactly where it starts, it says uh, zero. So what we're going to do is right there. Okay. Click on it Make to make a point and make sure it's zero okay make sure this says zero too we're gonna just delete it all of it okay we're gonna set it to zero okay right there okay then put it zero right here okay now it's gonna play at zero zero meaning it's uh, even and it's not gonna sound off or a little bit or whatever it's gonna sound uh, just the way you want it just make sure it says zero see all of these right here they were saying uh, like one of them was saying negative 53 like right here they kept saying negative 53 all the way to the left and I was upset with that so I wanted it to go to zero so that it could be even and it doesn't sound funny or off for a little bit that's what I've been noticing in some of the remixes that I've been doing and I played around with this a little bit today and I got this to go back to the way I wanted it to be perfect sounding and here's what it sounds like now the note Okay, and uh, now we're going to play the whole song and we're going to see where, and all the others should be fine, all the other notes, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just take it off solo, which is what S stands for, playing by itself. And what we're going to do is play it.
can hear all the notes perfectly playing uh, uh, centered right at zero in every single note. And if you find that, uh, that any note sounds funny, like I said, just go to automation. Make sure you uh, click in this box right here. Click on pan and make sure that uh, it's uh, uh, set to zero. So what you do is you just, because uh, if you have it, uh, like say you, you thought you did it and you had it like zero right here at, at the end right here, it's because this is not where the song starts or the the MIDI uh, region starts starts right inside here so make sure it's uh, inside the MIDI region and it's set to zero and just make sure it's set to zero on the outside as well so so that uh, just to make sure that there we have two points one at this beginning in the MIDI region and one at the outside like if your if your song starts outside a little bit like that and uh make sure and they're set to zero and then uh, you can change like the volume and everything just go to volume and then a uh, little uh zero it's at set to zero point zero and the volume what it what it does it's it's um just to change the volume a little bit of how you want it you can just add points the same way you do the the panning and you just mess around with that you just go right here if you want it to let's see down in here we're gonna have it start at zero right there and we're gonna have it come up and it's like kind of like a kind of kind of like a fading like making it fade in a little bit you can have it go to right here and you keep adding points to however when you want it to start and we'll go right there we're gonna okay make sure we take uh, panning off of all of these okay and put volume on them okay all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our points Okay, where we want it to start. Okay, right there. Okay, right there. Okay, right there. And then you can just kind of hear it a little bit. And because uh, right here, we're just going to shut this off. Make sure it's off. Okay, right there. Okay, right there. We're going to shut this off. And since this note starts way, way back there, we're just going to ignore this one. Ignore what I did there because uh, I just leave that. And we're just going to click on this one okay and we have it start coming in to right about there and we're gonna have it right there and now we're gonna play it it's kind of like fading in a little bit you could do that uh, you could do that with the automation, or what you could do, we're going to shut this off on, on all these. Okay, and what we're going to do, oh, there it goes. Just make sure when you click on it, you get it to move in, it'll go back to zero. Okay, you got it back to zero there, add a point here. And same thing, make sure it's set to zero. It's kind of a little hard to do it. Okay, right there. Okay. Okay, now it's always set to zero. Same thing with the panning. Make sure it's at the beginning of the media region, set to zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get out of this automation. Okay, and what, what I'm going to do is is uh, do the automation for the media tracks. And if you have like something like this, this is a uh, way you could do it like this if you, but this is if it's just a, a, a like a sound that's not media, you just go like this. We're going to go to, let's see loops and we're going to go to all we're just going to get like anything that's not a MIDI right here okay if it's not a MIDI okay you don't have to go to automation to uh to do the uh like panning in what you do is you just uh add this right here you go to like the edge and it has to uh like like go to the edge and it has to look like this right here uh to to do the fade in fade out on the track uh, right here and that's only to ones that are not MIDI regions or whatever and uh, you can do that and also you could uh, stretch it out right here and repeat it when you see this little loopy thing that looks like kinda like a, a hook or whatever you want to call it. it you can see the little arrow okay when it looks like that that means to loop it but uh, if you do that it'll it'll copy what you did here to the first one so what you might want to do is you might want to just uh, uh, cop command C to copy it, then command V to paste it. Make sure it's right. Uh, you clicked on it.
it's highlighted and then it goes down in there for the yes to move and then you shut this off okay and then you do that if you just want the beginning of it to uh, fade in or fade out or whatever at the end if you just want that part you're gonna have to uh, copy and paste it with like command C and then command V to do that and that's pretty much uh, it on this tutorial for uh, automation event pen and uh, event or whatever you want to do the media regions to panning them or whatever and that's it I uh, hope you got what you're looking for and uh, find this tutorial useful I don't think there's a tutorial on this because I searched for this problem and I came and I decided well to do a tutorial on it because I'm probably going to be the only one who has done a tutorial on this because not a lot of people realize this or whatever so I thought I, I would do this to help you guys out because I was struggling on this a little bit uh, check out my website, pixelpocketmedia.com, uh, and uh, check me out there with the other tutorials that I uh, do. Well, pretty much I post all my tutorials that I do here on YouTube. I put them on my website so you can get to them and check them out there if you have any questions. And I made a playlist for all my uh, uh, tutorials and everything so you can get to them easily on my channel. Just uh, click on a playlist so you can check out uh, all my tutorials I've done there. They're all in order and everything. You just look for whatever uh, uh, you can find whatever I've done so far and if I don't have it you can uh, uh, ask me some questions and I might do the tutorial of, of what you're asking or whatever and that's it and see you later please comment rate and subscribe